Hello my darlings, how are you today? I'm sorry if I'm being a bit too over familiar. I don't know you and uh, you may not be darling. But um, hello anyway. Um, hello and welcome to iBasiac. Welcome to <gasps> another unboxing of a vacuum cleaner. This is becoming tedious but some people watch it. This vacuum cleaner here is a beautiful SIBO German made cylinder vacuum. I bought this on Christmas Eve 2015. I don't know when I'm uploading this but this was purchased Christmas Eve 2015 for the ridiculously low price of 50, yes 50 new pounds for a SIBO vacuum. I was browsing very early in the morning. I woke up thinking Santa had been but it was Christmas Eve not Christmas Day. What else is there to do when you're lying in bed bored you know, I was on my own. So um, I decided to go on my iPad and browse the pre-Christmas sales. Happened to stumble upon Robert Dias' website and saw this at £50. Well, you couldn't get my finger on the buy it now button quicker than I did. So anyway, here it is. It's Sebo Air Belt K, bottom of the range. It's a lovely box. Look at that. Look at that for artwork. I mean that is good enough to frame. I would, I would, that would, that would look absolutely stunning. Actually, a proper framed print of that. Isn't that lovely? So here we go. Here's the energy label. There's the cleaner itself in a red colour. And on the other side of the box, we've got the same picture. And then on this side, we've just got some sort of bits and bobs telling you the various features of the range, not this particular model because it does show a power head. And SIBO's strap line at the moment on this is SIBO works for me. Okay, let's get this vacuum cleaner unboxed and partially demonstrated. Okay, with my, oh, oh dear. Has it been opened before? I've not noticed. I've actually had this a couple of days and today is the first chance I've got to have a look at it. I think it's okay. Right. Put my scissors to one side. We've got some more bits and pieces on the flaps. There we go. There's uh, showing the SIBO Fresh air fresheners that fit in the bag. Sorry about the light. I'm doing it in artificial light, I'm afraid, being winter time. SIBO Duo P powder showing there. Is that better? And at the top of the box, showing the SIBO Disco. I've never seen it in that colour. I've seen it in white and black in the UK. That's a hard floor polishing attachment. Doesn't actually fit this particular SIBO, but it fits some K series and some D series and Felix and Dart models. It's actually showing a Felix there with the black Disco head. I'd like to get uh, one of these disco floor polishing heads and demonstrate it but I've, I've not got any floors suitable at the moment. It's not suitable for cushioned vinyl which is what I have. So we've got some flex, not flex, what's it called this thing? It's a hose, that's right. Here is the main nozzle, the SIBO Combi nozzle. Let's open that, show you that first. It's a very good quality head. Well, I won't actually. Um, I did have one I could have shown, showed you on another. Anyway, I'm not going to unwrap it at the moment for reasons that I'll keep to myself. But here is the main carpet and hard floor nozzle. And here it is out of the wrapping. Well, it isn't actually the one I've just shown you. That's still in its wrapping. I think I'm going to leave that unused because I do have another one. This is identical to the one that comes in that box. This actually came with my SIBO K3 Premium. That has probably featured on my channel. I'm not sure yet. Depends when I've uploaded. So this is the Combi nozzle. Very good quality nozzle. This one's got a little bit of dust on because it's been used. You've got your litter pickers. Two wheels at the front, two wheels at the back. A little bit of a, a metal plate there and there's a brush which you lower by 
pressing that with your foot or your hand. It doesn't lower very much, but the little brush comes down at the back. You can actually take the brush out with this little yellow tab. You can remove that so the brush will slide out if you need to clean it. It's got the parking bracket on the front of there if you want to park it on, the, on either the storage or the parking bracket on the cleaner. What I love about this nozzle is the fact that it goes completely flat. Now a lot of nozzles, carpet and floor nozzles, you have to twist them in order for them to go flat but with SIBO it's fantastic because you can just go like that straight flat under the furniture you don't have to sort of twist. Of course it does have a twisty action as well. That is a very good quality, quite a hefty heavy nozzle but it does glide nicely over the carpet in use if it's anything like the K3 Premium. So that's for that. Next out of the box is the telescopic extension wand. Different to my K3 Premium because this doesn't have any electrical connectors. It's uh, probably a bit stiff, there we go. Ratchet action, so you can adjust it. And similar to Mila, you've got this very nice way of attaching the main tools. You just click it into place until you hear a little click and that stays on securely until you press the release button like that. Let's get the hose out shall we? Remove that bit of polystyrene. I believe this hose is a little bit shorter. This is the entry level SIBO K model. So above the K1 I believe the hose length is 2.1 meters. On this, I think it's 1.8, yes, it's definitely shorter, it's 1.8 meters, which is a little bit better than some of the cheapo vacuum cleaners that I've unboxed that only have a 1.5 meter hose. This is 1.8, so it gives you a little bit extra reach. That's the end that goes into the machine. It does actually swivel when it's in the cleaner, it doesn't actually swivel now but when it's in the machine it does swivel 360 degrees and on this side <clears throat> you've got oh that's a look that's rather squeaky i have to see what i can do about that that actually swivels as well you can actually take it off i believe by pressing the little button i don't know why you'd need to actually because it's hardly going to get blocked up there but anyway that does come off and that's your rather nice, comfortable hand grip. Uh, it's standard with the K-series. It is different on the premium model because it has a variable control. You've also got, see that little metal strip just on one side. As long as your hand is touching that metal strip when you're using the machine, that eliminates any static shocks that some vacuum cleaners give you when you're vacuuming certain carpets static electricity can build up and if you touch something metal then you, you find you get a little shock but if you're touching this metal band all the time then any shocks are dispersed as you're cleaning and you don't feel them so nice design that a little bit different to the standard just makes it a bit more comfortable to hold and maneuver so that's the hose the tube and the main nozzle it's time to reveal the vacuum itself, which is waiting patiently in the box, as you can see. Ah, oh, what else is there? Well, here's the energy label sticker with this particular SIBO. 73 decibels, which is very quiet. A nice decibel. Under 80, you're looking at a relatively quiet vacuum. Under 70, a very, very quiet vacuum. Anything over 80, in the high 80s, you're thinking, well, it's quite a noisy vacuum. So if, you're, if noise is important to you, low noise, go well, well under 80 if you can. So it's a C rating for dust emission. It's an E, which isn't very good, really, for carpet. But we'll see what that actually transpires when I do my demo. 
a C for hard floor performance, A energy rating because it is a 700 watt motor. Should be a spare bag. Actually, you do get a spare bag. I don't think Mila give you a spare bag anymore. So there is the Airbelt K Ultra bag. You do normally, when you buy the bags, they come in a packet of eight, I believe. You do normally get a little cover. So when you remove it from the machine, you can pop the cover on so the dirt doesn't escape. That might be, ah, speak, speak of the devil. It's actually here in the box. That's the little plastic cover that goes onto there and seals all the dust in. If you've got allergies, it's always better, in my opinion, to go for a bagged vacuum cleaner, a decent bagged vacuum. Okie dokie, or oh, here's the instructions. The instruction manual for the K series. So that's it, and can, out it comes. So as I say, this was an absolute bargain, my last bargain of 2015. Uh, I posted about this on my Ibasiac Facebook page and I said um, a SIBO, I don't know, was it a quality SIBO for Hoover Blaze prices? Because my Hoover Blaze, which is an appalling vacuum, cost me £50 and that was a sale price. So to get such a quality vacuum cleaner, a German made bagged quality vacuum that will certainly last longer than a Hoover Blaze for £50. I mean, bargain of the century. As you can see, it's finished in a rather striking red colour with a dark grey air belt. The air belt is a fantastic, a fantastic design and I'm glad Sebo continue it with all their cylinder models including the new E-series, e which I think this will be phased out at some point in favour of the E. The D-series, the bigger cylinders, they have this fantastic air belt design. Unlike most cylinder vacuums, it might have an exhaust vent on the back or the top. The exhaust vent on this machine is towards the front, either side. You can't actually see it, but Underneath this Lycra cover is a very soft, squidgy bumper. You can buy replacement covers if you get that damaged. The advantage of this, not only does it diffuse the air coming out of the machine, which also makes it quieter, it protects the cleaner and your furniture. If you're a little bit rough and you're pulling it along, it will not damage the machine and it won't damage your furniture because it's a nice soft squidgy bumper so it serves two purposes to protect the cleaner and to diffuse the air emitting from the cleaner ah right on the back of the machine I might as well look at the back while we're in this vicinity we have one thing I do like about this machine let's pop that there a full-sized crevice tool, unlike the little short ones you often get with vacuums nowadays. That is a proper full-length crevice tool that fits in that little hole. Like that, and you just push it and it sort of grabs in place. It won't fall out, it shouldn't fall out. That's your parking slot. You've got two rubber feet that help secure the machine, stable it when it's on its end when you're cleaning stairs or you're storing it. Cord comes out the back. It's a pull-pull cord rewind. There's no button. So you pull out, the pull out the cord to use the vacuum and when you want to store the cord you just give it a little bit of a tug and then it rewinds into the cleaner. On the top of the machine we have got, so I'm getting a bit of reflection, I've got some new lights, I'm just experimenting, I think I'll point them upwards. Um, this is your upholstery nozzle, it's a nice little design with your litter pickers. It's got vents on it so it won't actually stick fast to the surface. So if you're cleaning curtains or upholstery it's not going to stick itself and make it difficult to push. So it is easy to push, you can control the suction control with this knob here. But to use that, you need to attach the crevice tool to it. 
the crevice tool, as I say, it's located in the machine. So, you have to put that onto there in order to use the, the nozzle. Then you can pop it. So you've got a rather nice, comfortable way of cleaning your stairs and your upholstery. Having the extra length of the crevice tool means you're not sort of bending down, you don't have to use the extension wand. So, you know, it's quite good in that respect. And when you want to do down the sides of your sofa, you just, whoops, <laughs> you just pull this off. And then of course you've got your crevice tool. You might have to angle it that way. So, you know, it's, uh, some people find that a bit awkward. It's not too much of a trial to do that. But on the E series, you don't have to do that. You can connect the small nozzle directly to the hose without having to use the crevice tool. I'm going to stay on the top of the machine. We've got a mains on light. That also glows amber when you need to check the bag or you get a blockage. Switch the machine on and off with that control there. And by turning the control, you can adjust the suction power. The exhaust filter is located under here. Probably will be a bit stiff because it's new. I'm gonna have to pop it down. I had this trouble with my K3 Premium. There we go. So there's your exhaust, not washable. SIBO recommend you replace that from time to time. The exact uh, amount of times you need to replace will depend, of course, on how often you use the vacuum cleaner. That will become black within use from the carbon dust from the motor. You could try washing it, but it isn't recommended. They're not overly expensive SIBO filters and bags. Certainly cheaper than Miele. So you'll find a SIBO the running costs for SIBO vacuums are less than you could find on a Miele vacuum. Here's your hose inlet. It's just a push fit. Locks in place, as I said, it swivels. To release it, you just push, it's two little catches. Push those together and the hose comes away. So that's everything on the top underneath. We have three very, very smooth running casters quality heavy duty casters. The wheels have got a little rubber tire on so you can pull that, pull your cleaner over the thresholds you know, of your rooms and uh, it'll follow you nicely. Got a storage slot here. To get access to the bag there is a little catch just there and we can remove the whole of the underside, the bag door, that comes away. So we've got full access now to the bag and the pre-motor filter, which is located there. The bag just slips, slips out. So remove the bag, pop the cover on, dispose of it. Then you just slot a new bag in. And here is your pre-motor filter. Again, not washable. You can buy a service box which includes the eight bags, the pre-motor filter and the exhaust filter. You can also upgrade if you want a better quality filtration. This will still be more than adequate unless you're very, very sensitive to dust. You can get one that's coloured red that gives a better class of filtration. But for me, I'm not, you know, I'm not too concerned about that. That slots in there. Everything about the cleaner is quality. I know I only paid £50. You'd normally expect to pay up to £170. There are deals to be had occasionally. You could probably pick it up for £140 if you're lucky. I was extremely lucky to pick this up for £50. There's two arrows just on the bag collar which we need to just slot. Arrow first and then when we pop the bag door back in place the bag will actually move up and seal around that collar there it pushes right up like that if you don't fit the bag properly or you try to use the machine without a bag you'll find you won't be able to put the bag door back on okay let's just slot the bag door back on let's pop it down there a minute and position it 
like that. Make sure the bag isn't trapped. So as I say, it's a 700 watt motor. So this would be compatible with the new EU regulations that come into effect in 2017, which will be a maximum limit of 900 watts. So this is under 900. So this would be fine even then. The models above this, there are, I think, believe two models currently. There were three, but now there are two straight suction. There's a pet version and a comfort version. I believe they both have a 1200 watt motor. So if you want a slightly more suction power than this one will provide, you need to go up in the range. Of course, the 1200 watt ones will be phased out in 2017. And the max, because as I say, the maximum allowed, allowed wattage will be 900. So before I go, we'll pull out the cord. La -de dum Nice long cord for a compact vacuum. I think it's seven and a half to eight meters. A lot of cheap, cheaper vacuums might only have like a five meter cord, six meter if you're lucky. And again, it's a quality cord, it's a quality plug. Everything about this vacuum cleaner is quality. It's SIBO, it's German. I prefer SIBO as a brand. If anyone was to say, well, what's your favourite vacuum? I can't tell you my favourite vacuum, but my favourite vacuum brand, certainly modern vacuum brand, is SIBO. Miele comes second, but SIBO beats Miele. They may not look as pretty as some Miele's, although, you know, there's some newer SIBOs that are quite stylish. The D and the E series, the Felix looks pretty nice. Well, they all look nice, but some of them look a bit functional. It's still quite an attractive little machine, I think. So let's put it on. I still can't believe I got this for 50 pounds. I was a little bit dubious, you know, I thought, oh, well, they probably won't have any left or, you know, but I was so, so pleased when I got this delivered a few days after ordering it. Okay. So there we have it. Oh, it's lovely. So as I say, you can park it like this. It goes that way when you park it. Let's find a, a socket. Um, excuse me, I'll just have to go over here. Have to unplug this light. Hopefully it won't turn on. Nope. That's good. Can you still hear me? I'm, I'm coming. I'm a common. There we are. Let's move that out of the way. We'll give it a quick go. Move that. It just feels very, very lovely. Okay, let's switch on. I'm not going to lie to you, that suction isn't as good. Um, the models I've had previous to this, I had an um, 1800 watt version. I believe the first versions of the K series, it's quite an old range now. The first versions that were produced were 1800 watts and then it was up to 2100 watts. So it's not got the, the same oomph, but it has an improved head. It doesn't skim across the carpet. It feels like it's doing some work. But anyway, the proof of the pudding will be in my demo. I can't see it being very good on pet hair, but it's straight suction. You would need a turbo nozzle or ideally a power nozzle cleaner for that. But we'll see how it does on carpets and hard floors and how it does on the stairs, convenience wise and everything. Let's see, it was on full power, I believe, when I switched it on. So you've got the lower setting for doing your lighter cleaning, your dusting. No dusting brush supplied, unfortunately, with this. You don't even get the dusting brush with a top model. You can always, always get the dusting brush. You can get it with a clamp, so it'll actually clip to the extension wand. 
which I probably will get at some point. Let me just check the bag check indicator works. Yep, there we go. That's everything. Yes, a lovely, lovely vacuum cleaner for a lovely, lovely price of £50. Let's just, before I go, I'll have to unplug it and test the old Flex Rewind. There we are. Whoops, there we go. It might get caught up initially. It do tend to when it's a new vacuum. Because it's still a bit coiled. Good. There we are. That's fantastic. So, thanks for watching. That's my unboxing and initial look uh, at my SIBO Airbelt K1 Eco Cylinder Vacuum Cleaner. Still a current model at the time of making the video. Don't expect to be as lucky as I was to get one for £50 to get a SIBO, any SIBO, SIBO cleaners do tend to remain at the sort of similar prices. You can occasionally get some money off them, but nothing nothing like this. I did manage to get a SIBO Felix and a SIBO D2 total at half price a few years back from next sale. Uh, they were very good value, but nothing beats. This has to be, I think, one of the best bargains I've got. But then I do look at the internet a lot. I'm always searching for vacuums. In order to get the bargains, you do need to be sort of looking and uh, looking at all sorts of websites because I bought this from a website that I wouldn't really have associated with vacuum cleaners. It's a website called Robert Dias. They're a company that they make, they don't make. They uh, sell vacuums and other electricals, but they're mainly sort of like a hardware type store. They sell cleaning products, they sell DIY. They have high street stores. It's a name I know from my childhood because there was a Robert Dyer store in the town I uh, was a teenager in and grew up in. So that's how I knew the name. So amazing. SIBO Airbelt K1 Eco, 50 pounds. What an absolute bargain. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And at some point in the next few weeks, you will see a full demonstration of this vacuum cleaner in action. Picking up my bag of filth. Plus, of course, you'll see lots more video demonstrations, various other vacuum cleaners, carpet washers, hard floor cleaners. Please check my back catalogue if there's a particular model you're interested in. Search the box and you might find it. You might see I've done a review or a review of a similar machine. If you have any questions about this cleaner, please ask in the comments below. And if you like vacuum cleaners, you can always check out my Facebook page, iBaysiac. Again, there's a link below the video if you want to have a look at that. So until the next time for me and my SIBO Airbelt K1 Eco, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.